Hello and welcome to Database Management Systems. I'm Chavita Christi and in this video, uh, I'm going to start SQL, uh, the introduction and some of the basic syntax in SQL. So let's begin. First, I'm going to start with a query that is a data definition language query, which is used to create a table. This is my SQL command line where I am going to implement all the queries. And if you wish to download this, I have uh, linked uh, I have uh, linked it in my description box, so you can go and download from there if you wish. And let's start. So in this, I've already uh, connected to the SQL command line. You would also need to connect. So I'll just show that to you again. Uh, once you do connect, then you have to use uh, enter a username and the password. Username would be most likely system and the password will be the password that you created for this uh, account while installing your software. So when you type it, it's not actually visible, but it's getting typed. And once it says connected, then you can start uh, writing your queries. So in this case, I'm going to start with uh, a simple create table query, which will allow me to create a table. And so it goes like this. You're going to write create table, and then you'll mention the name of the table. So uh, let us say that I want to create a table uh, for my restaurant. So let's call it create table restaurant. And then in bracket, you're going to mention whatever you wish to uh, give as columns in this table. So let's say that in this, um, I want to write down item, which will tell me which type of um, a dish of food is being uh, served at the restaurant. So I want this to be my first column. Now, after mentioning the name of the column, you also need to mention its uh, data type. And I'm not going to separately explain to you each and every data type in SQL, but as we could proceed in these videos, I'll explain to you as the data types come up. So the first data type that you're going to learn is uh, the item data type, which tells you that, uh, sorry, the first data type is the variable character data type that is used when you want to uh, insert strings inside your um, characters like A, B, C, D, and you know uh, numbers as well as some special characters. When you want to insert such things inside your variables, then you will use the variable character data type, which I'm writing here. It is written as V-A-R-C-H-A-R. -A -A and in bracket, you'll specify the size of this data type. So uh, let us say that I want to allow the size of 25. So that means whatever uh, food item I'm going to record here uh, must be of a length of 25 and uh, or less, but not more. Now you can put a comma. At this point, uh, you can continue writing in the same line. You can type in the same line because SQL does not really work in the same way as any other language where if you break a line and go to the next line, there could be a problem. There is no problem if you move to the next line at any point. Uh, so you can just hit enter and it will show you two. Two is visible because this is the next line of the code. So now after at line two, you can uh, start, uh, you can continue and um, you can uh, add more data, more, more variables, more columns. So I'm going to add another column here. Uh, let's say I want to add price of this item. So price. Now price can be a decimal, decimal value. So I'm going to write the data type number. Number is the data type used to store any kinds of decimals or uh, non-decimal numbers. And here I'm going to mention its uh, size where I am writing four comma two, or let's just make it five comma two. 
5 comma 2 means uh, this number has a size of 5. But out of those five digits, the two digits will be present after the decimal point, not before. So this is the price column and it has a data type of 5, 2. And that's it. I don't want to create a very large table. I want to create a small table. So this is it. And then you can put a semicolon which will run your query. Once you put a semicolon, your query is going to run and you can hit enter and it says table created. So once your table is created, you are ready to uh, insert data into it. But suppose you want to view the table that you have created, then you can write down the DESC query or command and type the name of your table. DESC stands for describe. So once you type the name of your table and hit enter, uh, you'll be able to see the table uh, along with all the columns. So there are two columns, item and price, and their data types are mentioned here, variable character and number. So this is how uh, it works in SQL. You can create a table in a very simple manner. Now, once the table is ready, you are ready to insert values into this table. So let us see how to do that. Now there are several ways of inserting values. The first is you can just do insert into restaurant values and then just start typing what you want to insert. Now remember that item is a character data type and so you cannot insert anything here uh, without single quotes. So let's say that the first item I want to um, insert is, uh, is pasta. So that's it, very simple. And you need to put single quotes once again, don't forget that because it's a string. Then we can put a comma and now I'm going to insert the price of it. So let's just put a price of, um, in this case, let's just put a price of 300, just like that. And uh, then you can close the bracket and put a semicolon and run it. And it shows that one row is created. So that's the simplest way of inserting something into a table. The other way is that you can insert like this, insert into restaurant. Then you specify the columns which are there. So suppose uh, if, if you want to insert the price first and then the item, then you could write down price first and then item. And then you can uh, mention values and let's just insert uh, some other values. Okay. Now the thing is because I wrote this string first when I have written the uh, column price first, that is why this error comes. Whenever there's an error, I'll show you how you can take care of it. So first of all, you don't need to type the whole query again. You can just press up arrow key. When you press up arrow key, you'll be able to get, uh, just by using up and down arrow keys, you'll be able to get the rows. Uh, you'll be able to get the lines that you typed previously. So you don't have to uh, bother about, um, you know, typing the whole thing again. So by pressing up arrow key twice, I'm able to get the insert query. So I'm just going to press enter and to get my next line, I'll just use down arrow and it gives me this where I want to change some of the things. Uh, for example, I want to write 350 first and then the item name. And once again, it says one row created. So that's another way of inserting. Now there's a third way of inserting through which you can, uh, go on inserting multiple rows without having to worry about uh, getting the query and running it again and again. So I'll show you that. First, you'll write down insert into restaurant. Mention all the columns. Uh, I want to mention them in the same order. Item, comma, price. 
and close the bracket and write down values. Now you won't be writing the values. Instead, you will be doing this. You'll just be writing ampersand and repeat the name of the column, which is not necessary. You can write anything here. You can write ampersand A and B. So what happens is when you run the query, it will ask you for the value of item and the value of price, and then it will attach the value that you enter with the actual item and price. So that's how it works. But uh, you can that's why you can name it anything you like here. It's not necessary to give it the same name as the column. But most of the time, if you name it in the same way as the column, it's just going to work better. So once this is done, uh, hit semicolon. And once again, it will ask you for the values this time. So you can uh, put a value, let's say rice. Let's put a price, 100, hit enter. Once again, it says one row created. Now, if you want to insert another row, you just have to press forward slash. The forward slash in the command line does the work of um, running the previous query again. So if you want to run your previous query again, you can just do forward slash and it's going to run the query again and ask you for another item name. So this time uh, I'm going to just write bread and enter a price let's make it 30 and it says one row created so this is ready and suppose that's it i don't want to insert any more rows i have inserted four rows so uh, now i want to view what is actually present in my table for that i'm going to write the query called um, select so this is a data manipulation query. Insert also is a data manipulation query. Any query that you use to uh, view your data or make changes to your data is a manipulation language query. And a query that is, that is just used to either create the table schema or to alter that schema is a data definition language query. So let's see the select query. I want to select some of the things. So select star from, um, let's type the name of the table, restaurant. And you can see uh, my whole table is present here. There is no problem with it. Uh, all the items are there, all the prices are there correctly. And this is the query for it. Select star from restaurant. Here star means select everything from restaurant. But you could replace the star with a column name. So for example, I just want to see the different items, but not their prices. Then I'm just going to do select item from restaurant. And it will only give you the names of the items and not the price. So um, that's how it works. You can also modify the select query to have some condition. For example, I only want to see items that cost me um, less than or equal to 100. Then I can write here, select item from restaurant. And then you'll continue and still write in the query where price less than or equal to 100. And it gives me two values, rice and bread, because those are the two that are costing less than or equal to 100. So that's how you can use the select query in um, to, to read the data from your table once it is created. Now, that's not it for uh, DDL and DML queries. There are others too. And I'm going to continue that in my next video. So stay tuned for that and thank you for watching.